the San Francisco Giants are at odds of 12 to 1 to win the World Series. They're at odds of about 6 to 1 to win the National League pennant, and at odds of about 2.5 to 1 to win the National League West. The Giants' even year trend looked like it would continue as they won 87 games and beat the New York Mets in the wildcard game. However, the Giants failed to win the World Series for the first time in four even years as they lost the National League Division Series to the Chicago Cubs. Now with that out of the way, the Giants can get back to business. And even year or odd year, they're going to be a contender this season as manager Bruce Bochy is the best that there is at squeezing everything out of a team. The Giants offense is not going to bomb their way to wins, but they're solid in hitting for average and stealing bases, and they're a patient team that ranked fourth in the majors in walks. Buster Posey is not an MVP candidate anymore, but he is very good at both hitting and, more importantly, behind the plate with his pitchers. Brandon Bell and Brandon Crawford both had good years, while the Giants are counting on Dennard Spann and Eduardo Nunez to make up for the exit of Angel Pagan on the base paths. In the field, the Giants lead the league in fewest errors, and much of that comes down to the managing of Bochi, who makes sure the Giants don't beat themselves. San Francisco's pitching continues to be excellent as the rotation is led by the powerhouse duo of Madison Bumgarner and Johnny Cueto. Jeff Summerzija is a very good option to have as the third starter, while Matt Moore showed that he was fully recovered from Tommy John surgery after he was traded from Tampa Bay. The biggest question is Matt Cain, as the Giants are paying him $21 million, so he'll get his chances, and he is playing for a club option of the same amount in 2018, but that would be unlikely. Derek Law and Hunter Strickland lead the middle relievers, and the Giants sign Mark Melancon, who had 47 saves between Pittsburgh and Washington in 2016. The San Francisco Giants went 87-75 and 75 last season, going 45-36 and 36 at home and 42-39 and 39 on the road. The team was 75, 82, and 5 on the over-under. Some players to watch for 2017. If anyone is going to be a power hitter on the Giants, it's likely to be Brandon Bell. But that might not be fair, as he has a career high of 18 home runs. Belt is turning 29 in April, so he might move towards more of a power strategy. But will he sacrifice average for power? Hunter Pence turns 34 in April, and he started to show some wear and tear last season which is worrying at his age. Pence has one more year on his deal after 2017, and he might want one more contract, so he'll be motivated. But will his body hold up? Johnny Cueto is fantastic at his best, but he has also been known to struggle at times, whether it is through injuries or something else. In his history, Cueto has usually taken a step back after having a good year, so that's something to keep an eye on this season. Mark Melancon signed a four-year deal worth $62 million and has 98 saves over the last two seasons. He has a lot to live up to, but if everything works out, Melancon could lead the National League in saves.